as promised, going to start making uh, more content for you. A little less pretty than the other ones. For no other reason than to just simply get you the information that you uh, need to pass your certification exam. We are still working through the CISSP exam um, and we're going to talk about some encryption. So the thing to remember when it comes to encryption is it is always, always, always a confidentiality based question. When we look at the word encrypt or to encrypt, understand it is a two way function. I will encrypt and thus be able to decrypt. So always a confidentiality based question and always a two way function. So now that we know and understand that it is always going to be a confidentiality based question, we can start working through the different types of encryption. But first, let's lay down the basic vocabulary that you'll need to know, something that applies to uh, all of encryption, uh, regardless of the algorithm that you're talking about. So first, starting out with the word algorithm. Uh, anytime you see the word algorithm, just find and replace and insert the word math problem. The key to this is to make it and keep it as simple as possible. Algorithm is way too long and way too difficult a word for me to remember. I'm not the brightest person on the face of the planet. I need something simple. So algorithm is quite simply the math problem. The key, the key is what unlocks or locks the algorithm. Then we have symmetric and asymmetric. So symmetric, when I tell you that something is symmetrical, understand that it is what? The same on both sides. So what is the same on both sides when dealing with encryption? It is the key. And then asymmetric, something is different on both sides. So what's different on both sides, it is the key. I always tell my students that these tests, regardless of what the exam is that you're sitting for, whether it's CISSP, CISM, uh, CISA, Security Plus, they're all simply grammar tests. If you know the word, the root word that they're using, you know the subject. Remember, we're geeks, we're dorks, we're nerds. We are not linguists. We didn't create an entire new language. We borrowed from the language that is available and applied it to the subject. Keep that in mind as we continue to work through the rest of the coursework. The last major vocabulary word that you need will be cryptosystem. It is, as it sounds, just like ecosystem. Uh, we're talking about the world in which the cryptography standard uh, lives, so the crypto system. When trying to understand cryptography, remember it is all reliant on the secrecy of the key. Regardless the algorithm that you're using, regardless the makeup of your crypto system itself, the strength or weakness of the crypto system is all based on how you keep and the ultimate secrecy of the key. This leads us to a concept known as Kirchhoff's Principle. Uh, simply put, the Kirchhoff's Principle indicates, or at least his argument is, the only thing when it comes to cryptography that is important is the secrecy of the key. You can publish the algorithm or math problem without weakening the crypto system. As a matter of fact, it's encouraged to publish the algorithm so we can have as many people banging on the algorithm and, and trying to find its weakness as possible with thought that that ultimately makes the algorithm stronger. However, as long as you keep the secrecy of the key, it doesn't matter that you have published the algorithm. So that's Kirchhoff's principle. In the next video, we're going to walk through symmetric key algorithms. See you then.